Okay, it's uh, July 1st, Canada Day. It's been beautiful. It's been beautiful for the last week or so. And believe it or not, I am not doing an update of the pepper garden. I'm not. I'm going to talk about things that are not pepper related in this uh, video. So these are my two uh, grape vines here. They're Concord grape called Valiant. I'm hoping you can see uh, the green on green. The, um, it's just incredible the amount of grapes that we have. That we have. Um, last year, <laughs> last year, see that's what we're doing. There you go. We're sitting out in the sitting out on the deck. We always do that and have a have our coffee. There's Mrs. Sack 59. <laughs> anyway, there. Um, last year we bought a couple uh, cherry bushes of the Romance variety, which are developed uh, from the University of Saskatchewan, I believe it was. And uh, they're um, meant for our zone, which is zone 3A. And um, they've grown a lot. Last year, of course, we had no flowers, no, no cherries. The beginning of this year, we had a very early spring in March. They were covered in flowers, and we had lots of cherries. And then, of course, we had a frost, and most of the cherries died. Uh, didn't cover the bushes up. I have a lot to learn about them, but we have four cherries. I can show you four cherries on this one tree. This is this is the Romeo. This one is Romeo, and this one is Juliet. And of course, that's what you get when you let your your missus make a decision for you. <laughs> anyway, that's actually what they're called. There are other ones like Crimson Passion and. Uh, you know, there are a lot of different kinds. Evans cherry is a very common one. And I want to show you this one because it looks like a cherry. So it's kind of neat to have one cherry on the tree that looks like a cherry. Come on, get in focus. There we go. So I'm very pleased about it. I'm pleased about having one cherry that looks like a cherry. These other ones are all kind of small here. So there are four cherries. And um, uh, yesterday I set up this netting because if there's one thing that birds like more than the grapes, it's the cherries. Now what happened was, um, about six or seven years ago, uh, we had our first crop of grapes. And every day I was watching them as they were getting bigger and riper. Then one day I went out there and they were all gone. <laughs> so I learned an important lesson about, um, about grapes and birds. And I put netting over them all the time. And, uh, and so I figured, well, I need to put a frame because I know that these, they're going to get, they're dwarf actually, so they don't get really big, but they'll probably get about five or six feet. So that's what I have uh, set up over here so that there's lots of room for them to grow. And I have them on hooks so that I can take the netting off, of course, to, to do what I have to do. Now here's the strange thing, and I'm not just yapping about stuff that uh, I've got in the yard. Um, these are cherry bushes and I noticed uh, last week that there are little black bugs all over it and of course ants walking and I know aphids I'm an expert on aphids I've had them but I have never seen black aphids before and I looked it up and the aphids are called black cherry aphids all right so you can kind of see on this leaf anyway um, Come on, there we go. Now, <laughs> that's, uh, it's amazing to me that somehow or other, out of the, <clears throat> um, out of all the bushes and everything that goes on, the aphids can find the exact bush, the exact tree that they need. <laughs> so, there are ants everywhere, all over them. There are aphids all over them. And it's uh, pretty gross. Anyway, so um, I ordered uh, 4,500 ants. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that's one thing I don't need to order. But uh, <laughs> I ordered uh, 4,500 ladybugs. And um, they're going to arrive probably in three or four days. And also uh, an, an egg case of um, praying mantises. 
So um, we have ordered ladybugs in the past uh, for the pepper plants for the tree in the front, but now I'm going to also put them in here. And, um, and I'm going to show that process as well. I've never shown that process before. It's kind of cute when they come in their little, their little sack and the way they crawl all over you as you're trying to put them into the place. So I think that's going to be kind of neat. And um, praying mantises, my goal is to record the egg case hatching and then to, um, to show them. Um, so once I uh, had all the netting out because I built this little frame with all the net. I, I was thinking yesterday, oh, I have the netting out, I might as well put the netting on the grape plant. And um, I was about to do that and our daughter and her boyfriend were over for supper and we're looking at the grapes. Um, and then all of a sudden, a sparrow, there you can see all kinds of grapes here, now you can see them along the bottom there. <laughs> a sparrow um, suddenly flew into the, into the bush. Well, I go, well, you know, I don't really like the birds in the, uh, in the grape vines because you don't want birds in the grape vines. Now, they're not going to start eating them until they're ripe anyway. But uh, the bird flew in and didn't fly out again. So we looked in and okay. here we are. There's a nest. My, our daughter saw the nest in here and I said, no way. Is this a sparrow? That's the mother bird. You could just see. I guess it looked very well protected. It's pretty low. It's amazing actually. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, where did it go? Come on, focus. There we go. See, it's got its beak open. She has her beak open. I think she's trying to scare me. And I wanted to show the nest, if I could. So imagine, because this has never happened before, imagine if I had put the, the netting over the grape bushes with the mother bird sitting on her nest trapped inside the netting. And I imagine there's a father bird, probably not too far away, who's watching me, who must be bringing food to the mother and he wouldn't be able to get in here. I wouldn't know what the heck was going on because it'd be a sparrow fluttering against the netting and that's what would happen. So it's ridiculous, it's crazy. Okay, it is um, Wednesday, uh, following week. <laughs> And um, the uh, ladybugs and the praying mantises have arrived. So um, this is a little box that comes in. And uh, here are the ladybugs. They've been in the fridge. Um, as soon as we got home, we put them in the fridge. And uh, this is what it comes in. 4,500 ladybugs inside this little pouch. And uh, it's a nice pack. And uh, here is... Uh, the egg case for the uh, praying mantises. So there could be anywhere from 40 to 400 eggs. And uh, I'm gonna set them up and uh, try to see if I could get a recording of them all coming out of their, out of their um, little egg case. But I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that or not. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it works out. Anyway, uh, first thing that I have to do, you do this in the evening cools down a little bit and um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to water the plant. I have a little plant. I always give her water because you see she really loves her water and she says thank you to me even though I never hear it but she says thank you to me. Well she would if she could talk. Wouldn't you, little plant? Okay, you're welcome. Well, it's easy for you to say. Okay, later. Here's what they look like inside. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Ah, ah, they're in my hand already. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, don't fly away already. <laughs> Can you imagine? Holy smokes. They are active like crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The ladybugs came to the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they all played games at the ladybugs picnic. They had twelve sacks, so they ran sack races, and they fell on the backs, and they fell on the faces. The ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. They played jump rope, but the rope it broke, so they just sat around telling knock-knock jokes. The ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and they chatted away at the ladybugs picnic. They talked about the high price of furniture and rugs and fire insurance for ladybugs. Ladybugs twelve at the ladybugs picnic. Twelve. <laughs> Who's this guy? He's very curious about what's going on. Where am I? Just an hour ago I was inside that egg case. Now I'm crawling around on this plant. You go find some, some aphids. I am sure that you will do a good job. Okay, here you go. Yay, you got the idea. You're a very smart brain mantis. You're smarter than your brothers and sisters. Yeah, he hopped on the leaf. There you go. You go find your way. Did you want one on your hand? No. <laughs> they won't bite you. Hello, guys. Who wants to come out? Can you see my finger? You see your finger, but I can't see a pretty mantis on your hand. Can you see now? Oh, yeah, I see him. He's crawling. 
Okay. Do you going? need the cherry? Yeah. Alright. So. Oh. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. Now you're blocking the view. There you go. Can I move? Nope. That's the best thing. You just climb up on their own and then there's no ricochet dangers. I'm helping you. That's right. <laughs> wow. Okay. I wonder if that's enough for this plant. I'm going to try to put one more. Look at it. Aha! I found it. Now I'll have the fun of watching these guys and not just counting peppers. Okay, so here it is. It's July the 19th and um, every now and then I see a uh, ladybug. You know, I, I know I don't have the ladybugs that I used to have. Yeah, so many ladybugs are gone, but I know that there are ladybugs in the garden because uh, every now and then I see one just like that one. Now, I'm also looking for the praying mantises. I just want to see them. And I see them, but they see me at the same moment and then they hide. <laughs> like, I mean, it's kind of, um, you don't think about insects in this way, at least I don't think about insects in this way. I think that, um, that we're too big for insects to, to see. You know, it's a, just a different, uh, a, a different kind of perspective. I think that uh, that they're so tiny and we're so big that they probably can't really even focus on us. But I think they look, the praying mantis seems to look right at me and then immediately goes into hiding. So I can see them, but then as soon as I see them, they hide. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I know there are lots in here. Anyway, um, I think it's a successful uh, mission. The uh, aphids are gone. There are no more aphids at all on the uh, cherry plants. There aren't any ladybugs in there either that I've seen. Um, but I'm sure that there are lots of other bugs. Um, and I'm sure everything will be just fine. Uh, we're empty nesters. The, uh, the um, uh, sparrow nest is still up here but it's empty now so I'm going to be uh, able to uh, to put the netting over the uh, over the grapevines and uh, there are quite a few uh, praying mantises in there it's a pretty good place for them to hide I think it's ideal and there are all kinds of little bugs I've never seen so many different kinds of bugs all over my plants so I don't know really how long it takes for the uh, to get big enough to start eating those bugs but anyway um, I just wanted to, uh, to to do a little ending to this video I know it's a long video so I apologize for that I will be doing um, a pepper update at the end of August so another month or so and uh, you know I really appreciate that you've actually stuck through and watched this video to the end thank you very much leave a comment and I will um, respond of course, I'll answer the, uh, your comments. And, um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, because I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching.